Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Popular request, uh, muscle memory, right? And I said, I promised you guys two weeks ago I was going to make a video on it. Well, now's the time. Explaining how muscle memory works as far as nucleus, mitochondria, all that stuff. Now, make sure before you watch the video, you watch the video called Why Overtraining Makes a Muscle Grow Faster. And I explain how through bro science and anecdotes came to the conclusion that uh, if you overworked, right, not just overtrain, even if it's outside of bodybuilding, if you overwork the muscle for, for a certain period of time, mostly in your teens or wherever, and you finally, uh, after that you back off and you finally, you know, I don't know, give it a break and then start bodybuilding, that muscle will be the fastest one to grow. And it, this, this was, at the time there was no science behind it, but it was proven, like bro science proven. Everyone that I knew that either overtrained the muscle when they first started lifting, Later on in the future, that muscle was the best part outside of fucking genetics, right? It's sick of people seeing somebody with, with great physique and saying genetics, right? They have they do, they do no research, they just assume. And I tested it to prove my hypothesis, right? I did the same way everybody else does. I tried it on so many, so many people. Every time I see somebody with a great physique, part of it was genetics, but I would always ask them, you know, did you do anything using that muscle a lot in the past? And then nine out of ten times, they'll say things like, oh man, I used to climb up a lot. Uh, um, I used to hold things, I don't know, whatever it is that made the muscles grow, right? But because I was seeing more and more people with that phenomenon, I decided to say, you know what, there has to be science behind it. So I said, you know what, fuck bodybuilding, fuck bro science, let me just go into molecular biology, let me just study how molecules work, right? Because really, your muscle is just a bunch of cells, right? So I went into, um, uh, make a long story short, I started studying cells, protein synthesis, mRNA, transcription, translation, all that deep protein synthesis stuff, and I discovered a study that explained, it's actually more, a very recent study, it explained this phenomenon right here, why people grow very, very fast when they overtrain the muscle in the past, or why is it that um, people that used to play sprinting sports like football or soccer or whatever, have great quads when they start bodybuilding, even if they don't go as hard. And it also explained muscle memory, why is it that somebody that used to train before could take a long time off from the gym, lose their muscle, come back, and get swole like in half the time. And it's finally explained on the molecular level, right? First, let me give you guys a little example. Take a look at this. Let's say you have two houses, houses A and houses B, right? This house, you only have two workers to build your house. This house, you have four workers to build the same house. Now, let me ask you guys, who do you think, which house do you think is gonna be built the fastest, all right? Obviously, it's house B because it has more workers. Even if you want the house to be the same size, right? Both houses to be the same size. Eventually, they'll be the same size, but this house will be built a lot faster. And let me explain how that works. Simply because you have more workers, right? Even if you go to this side and you give them like a million bricks, a billion bricks, it doesn't matter. You limit it to how many workers you have. And let me explain that in terms of, you know, muscle growth. And by, by the way, I can say for you uh, extremists out there, it is proven, so you can look it up if you want. You have a muscle cell. A muscle cell is different than other cells in the body because it has the ability to have more than one nucleus, right? So the average cell only has like one nucleus, a muscle cell can have, you know, like hundreds of nu nuclei. So let's say this one has three, this one has a whole lot. You could represent a nucleus as the workers of the castle, right? Without the nucleus, I mean, that's where everything begins. That's where the DNA is. That's where protein synthesis really is central around. I mean, that's where Everything you know really counts outside of the mitochondria. We're not gonna go, you know get into those details, but pretty much the nucleus is like the workers, the workers of the cell. Now, what happens is the more nuclei a cell has, the faster it will grow. Just like the worker example earlier. So even if person A and person B do the same exercises, they have the same genetics, same everything, same calorie intake, same everything. If they start training, this guy is gonna hypertrophy a lot faster than this guy even if eventually they both get to the same size even if they both get to 200 pounds lean eventually this guy will get there faster he will max out his potential faster because he simply has more workers so now what does that go into overtraining and um uh muscle memory things like that they did a study to prove this hypothesis right because it was actually observed that if you took a group of people and you look at the, the, the cells the ones who had the most satellite cells or the more nuclei in their muscle grew the fastest People that we usually say, oh, they just have good genetics. But scientists find out that a lot of these people simply did sports or activities that activated those muscles back in their, in their early years. So people that usually have good forearms come from, I don't know, uh, did probably a, a lot of form, former walks in the past, right? a lot of gripping, a lot of carrying. People that have great calves, did a lot of climbing. People that had great quads, did a lot of sprinting. That's why if you look at a lot of people with the best quads, 
they were either football players before they joined bodybuilding or rugby players. You will never see a rugby player with small, small um, quads. Even if he stops training and goes back into lifting in the future, first thing that goes is his quads. Uh, and they, they, they found out that almost everyone that has a genetically dominant body part, one way or another when they were kids, they used to use their body part a lot, right? So if Michael Phelps starts bodybuilding, what body part is going to go the fastest is last, right? He's using that more than everything else. So um, the question is now, if you want to make a mu muscle grow fastest, it's simple. Increase the amount of nucleus inside the muscle. If you could get your muscle to grow from having, let's say, three, I'm just using that, you know, theoretically speaking, from three nuclei to about eight, nine, or ten, during that phase when you're increasing a nuclei, the muscle itself won't grow. But once you have enough nuclei and you go back to lifting heavy, the muscle is going to grow a lot faster than this one because it has more nuclei. Now the question is, how do you increase nuclei? By overworking the muscle, by doing time on attention, a lot of repetition. Forget the 10 to 12 reps if you're trying to exponentially increase your nuclei. You really have to deplete your glycogen stores. You got to get a lot, a lot of lactic acid, lactic acid, a lot of burn, high repetitions, um, strength endurance type training. And what that's going to do is that's going to increase not the size of the muscle, but the amount of workers, which is a prerequisite to getting bigger. So they also did this experiment on rats to make sure it was applicable not just to humans but all mammals. Where I explained on the video, they took uh, a rat and they they did a surgery on his left leg to make it, you know, um, defunctional. So the rat was putting a lot of his work on the right leg, uh, pretty much, you know, like limping and shit, overworking the right leg. And after a few weeks, the right leg had a shitload of nuclei per cell in the left leg. And believe it or not, when they started doing the little rat resistance training, that right quad, whatever you call it, grew a lot faster. So it's proven. You want to make a muscle grow. A lot of us, if you have lagging body parts, simply because you don't have a lot of nuclei in that muscle. You don't just keep lifting heavy and heavy and heavy. It's like giving the workers more and more bricks, right? They're going to say, hey, there's only three of us. and so you're trying to build a castle in like, you know, a month. Try to increase your workers. Then switch to a, um, you know, pure muscle building phase. And I'm going to come up with a different video after this explaining how you can put this into a program where you have four weeks with just nuclei overload training, is what I call it, where you just focus on increasing nuclei and your lagging body parts. And then uh, after that, going through an, another cycle of just, you know, lifting pure heavy for hypertrophy purposes. So I hope that answers your question about, and that's also why uh, muscle memory, you know, um, exists in athletes. They find out if you take steroids or do anything that, that increases your, you know, Nuclear per cell, steroids also do that, testosterone. What happens, even if you stop training for even up to 10 years, the muscle is gonna shrink, but the workers are still gonna be there. You're still gonna have a lot of nuclei. And when that person gets back into training, boom, that's why the muscle grows so much faster, because it simply has more workers. So that's why I kept telling you guys from day one that I didn't know why, I didn't know the science behind it, but overtraining made the muscle bigger in the future. I didn't know why, but finally, that's so why I tell you, you cannot throw bro science out the window because eventually science will catch up and either prove or disprove the theory or whatever it is. So, um, hope I covered all the points. I got another question about um, how to apply that to body parts. Simple. Just pick a muscle that's lagging. Overtra Same thing I've been saying. Overtrain it. Train it every day, whatever, for as long as possible. i say four weeks, you know, to a month max. And after that, just um, go back to hypertrophy top training. And you're going to see that muscle is going to grow a lot faster because it has more nuclei, meaning uh, more everything, more protein synthesis. Uh, everything's going to be faster. More mitochondria because the satellite cell, which is what donates the nuclei to the, to the pre-existing cell, also donates you know mit new mitochondria. So you have more energy production. It's perfect, guys. It's, it explains everything in Bible. That's why myostatin deficient cows and humans grow so much muscle mass is also because... Uh, when you have no myostatin, your satellite cells proliferate like crazy. They multiply like crazy, and they go into the, uh, the cell and donate nuclei constantly. So the cell grows from nothing, you know? So that's the secret of, you know, basic muscle growth. Uh, let me see if I have enough time to answer the rest of the questions. Not really. I'm going to make a next video probably a week from now explaining how you can break this down into different programs, you know, chest, biceps, traps, whatever it is. Obviously, I'm going to start using a lot of my lagging body, but I've been using it on my back, obviously my arms, as you can tell, getting some gains. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, I know there's a question I'm forgetting to answer, but I forgot what it was. Uh, i just put it in the comment section, but just comment below, hit me up on the inbox if you have more questions. I'm out. All right, guys, I remember the question. It was how many sets, how many reps? Once again, from experience, I didn't count. When I went through my overtraining phase on my triceps, on my chest, 
which is the two body parts that I really used it on in my back. I didn't care about sets of reps. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just doing as many reps as I could with you know enough weight to feel something, and it worked. So there's no really sets and reps that are stuck in place, guys. Just go hard, overtrain the muscle. Just overtrain it. Drop sets. I'm a big fan of drop sets. I always tell you guys, drop sets, drop sets, drop sets. Get a lactic acid uh, buildup. Crazy. Expand the muscle, and um, it's not your typical 10 to 12 bodybuilding day. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's not a typical you know growth. Um, uh, training, but eventually, like I said, when you're done building your mitochondria, whatever, the muscle's gonna grow. Uh, and the second question was, um, uh, do you do it every day? Yes, do it every day. Obviously, on your rest days, you know, don't do it. But if you do go and do a specialization phase, you want to do it every day and stop worrying about overtraining as long as you're eating, sleeping, and staying hydrated. I told you guys we came from caveman who didn't care about, oh, today's Monday, so I'm not gonna use my chest when I go hunting. Today's, no, a caveman, when it was time to go hunt, which is the equivalent of, you know, high intense exercise, he'll, he'll sprint to catch the thing after he threw the spear. On the way back, if he had to fight off scavengers, he will fight. There was no, oh, today's Monday, you know, I'm only gonna use my chest. Today's Tuesday, I'm only gonna use my quads. No, you know, what made, the, Neanderthals, which is one of our ancestors, were some of the most brolic, fucking human that ever existed and they use their muscles every fucking day they had to keep eating they had to stay alive to feed that huge muscle mass so they were always moving now it doesn't mean you have to go super heavy every single time and protect your joints but enough to stimulate you know um mitochondria biogenesis and all that other shit and the third thing was uh, uh yes that's the reason why steroid uses grow so fast is because testosterone injections also increase your nuclei at a much faster rate so that's why they get big so fast and you know eventually um, when they come back to lifting, even after a long break, they still have this nuclear star up. Alright, so that's the three questions I forgot to answer. I'm gonna add that to the video. I'm out. Natalia? Uh -uh. So I know. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> Shut up! Come here, baby. Come here. Hey, man! The sign. You do a few tricks. Woo! 